Hi there, Tara here on Amazing Milestones. Today we're going to talk about social networking, for kids that is. In talking to other parents and in chatting on various online forums, I realize there is a real focus on developmental milestones. Smiling, uh, sitting up, first words, but what about the social side? I read just a few weeks ago that babies from as early as a few months already show a distinct social behavior, which I think is fascinating. And of course, I want to know all I can do to help my baby interact well with others because after all, it's quite crucial to a healthy and happy life. So to help me with this, we're going to meet Dr. Wachowski. He is a child behavior specialist and he is going to explain about social development in kids and he's going to give us a few pointers on what we can do to help. So let's go meet him. Hello, Dr. Wachowski. Hello. Thank you for welcoming me in your clinic. I, I really like it. It's, um, it's very colorful. Thank you. We try to create a st stimulating environment here for our kids. And for grown-ups too. <laughs> so um, my first question is, what are the different stages of socializing depending on age? What can we expect? Well, at one month, uh, your baby should be able to look at you temporarily, especially when you come quite close uh, to it at about 30 or 40 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Uh, at about two to three months, uh, a baby should be able to smile back at you when you smile at it, should be able to follow you uh, with, uh, with her eyes a little bit, and also try to seek you out in the room when you walk in and you call uh, his name. Uh, uh, at about five months, the baby should be able to show you signs of excitement when you look at it. It, it will smile, it will make all sorts of sounds, and it will move its ar arms and legs uh, very, very rapidly in signs of excitement. Um, at about nine months, uh, a baby should start showing you signs of, of willingness to interact with you. Uh, so it will play with your hair, play with your ears, play with your nose, all these things. At about 12 months, your baby may start imitating you in your daily chores, activities, and it will also start showing signs of stranger anxiety. Oh, really? Okay. Well, well, what kind of activities can I do with my child to encourage him or her to socialize with others? First of all, smile and talk to your child constantly. Mm. Uh, try to talk to him whenever you describe, whenever you do something. Describe all the activities you do, you do around it. Uh, touch your child very often. Pick him up in your arms as much as you can. Uh, uh, try to keep a constant eye contact with your child, as that helps foster a sense of uh, acceptance. Uh, and finally, try to become very, very excited at any little thing that your child does, such as finishing his bottle, saying the first words, uh, later on dressing up, or, uh, or even being toilet trained, because these behaviors tend to uh, foster a sense of uh, confidence in the child. Uh, it is also very, very important that you have your child spend as much time as possible with other children. Okay, and well, in regards to that, what is actually considered normal? Are there warning signs that we should look out for? And if so, what should we do? It is perfectly normal for a child not to be always interested in playing. Uh, it is perfectly normal for a child to, uh, to have a favorite toy, cry when that toy is taken away by another child. And even, if, if, and even in moments of excitement, it's perfectly normal for a child to occasionally bite another child or make a lot of screaming and fussing. <laughs> Okay. What I think would be abnormal as a behavior is if your child is never interested in playing with other kids, uh, when uh, it has only one toy that it likes to play with, and the way it plays with that toy is very restrictive. For example, it always spins the wheel of a car or uh, always hits, the, you know, bangs the toy against a table or a wall. Uh, or if your child is constantly aggressive with other children when it plays, these are potential signs of behavioral or developmental problems. Okay, good to know. Well, that's all for my questions. So I'll let you get back to work and I thank you, Dr. Wachowski. That was really pertinent information. Thank you, welcome. I definitely see lots of playgroups in my future. Like us, babies and children need to interact. It's really important and it may not always be easy, but with practice and patience, lots of patience, we will manage to foster positive social development in our children. That's it for today. Come back next time. We're going to talk about common feeding problems and what we can do to solve them. See you then.